Hello, in this iClone video, I will show you how to create realistic night scene using sport light, point light, globe map and more. Let's get started. So we have our so we have our scene open in iClone and as you can see the, there are no lights in the scene just the character and the other things set up in the scene so the scene has already been prepared for lighting so how wh what do we do the first thing we do is we go to this our light prop we have a light prop here and we need to light it up so how do we do that first of all when you select the prop you go to modify when you go to modify you click on material once you click on the material you use the pick material tool and you pick the face of the light so i've picked the face of the light so i go to my texture settings and on that glow map you just increase make sure you have a you have a glow map you have an image in your glow map that can emit or give that glow effect so see yes i raise it gradually it's being littered up and it's, it's showing that it has light in it so you can just adjust it to your desired value you can go higher and you can go lower for now i will stick to 50. So that's it for that but as you can see we are not able to make the light react to the environment the light isn't re reacting with the environment so we need the light to reflect to um, interact with the environment so we have to go and create our light and in this case we are we are working with spotlight because spotlight has shadows so once you come to create you go to light and you go to spot light so i've already created my spotlight in the scene so all i'm going to do is to activate it so i come here and activate my spotlight you see you can see the nice effect given on the floor of the scene once you go to modify you can see where you can adjust uh, the values of the multiplier multiplier actually makes the light more intense or sub two. so th that's it for that we need more light to also interact this side of the uh, floor so I have my light in the scene already so I'm going to activate it also now you see I've activated it and gives that nice shadow here and gives that interaction with the environment you can see it's interacting with the environment right here so because of the fact that I don't want the background to be so flat and dull I'm going to add lights like a backlight to lit the background a little bit so how do you do that you still go here you go to create light go to create you go to light then you go to spotlight so I have my backlight in the scene already so I'm going to activate it here I can see it here you can see he has been littered up a little which is nice it gives it makes the scene more dramatic and gives it more depth I have one other more I'm going to activate here yeah so you see it gives that background depth and it's more dramatic instead of just a flat um, light and again it's something you need to observe here the visual here it's 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 not emitting any light 
it's not glowing it's nothing it's just there so in order to make it more realistic and to light it up you go to material here after you've clicked on your character you go to material under the modify go to material then you use the pick material tool once you click the pick material tool you click on the material that's the visor the glass visor here so you, then you scroll down and when you scroll down on that glue make sure your shader type is on pbr then you go to glue once if you don't have a glue map here you just double click once you double click it there are different glue maps here images that you can use for your glue so i have mine already here the only thing i need to do is to come under uh, the strength and increase the value to what i want so now you can see i've increased the value here it's glowing well it's giving it more it's more looking more interesting so i'll do the same thing to this here at the upper tozo of the character you still go to your material use your material pick material and you click on that particular material that you want to glow so you, you scroll down in my case it's called the neck vent I don't glow under the glow I have my glow map already I go and work on the strength again and increase it you can see now it's looking more dramatic and if you notice um, the the light is not really interacting with the body it's just glowing but it's not affecting the body so we need it to interact with the body to give it that realism so we are going to create another light in this case once you come to create you go to light then you you, you get to point light the reason we are why we are using point light is because it gives light to all directions and that is what we want we want the light to be spread on the body very well so i have my point light there already it's already in the scene so i'm going to activate it yes now you can see let's go you can see how it looks <coughs> it looks very it looks better interesting and more dramatic it looks very um real it's very important not to make your scene look too flat only give it that depth and dynamics so the next thing i want to do is i want to make this scene more complex using light and what i mean by complex is if you notice all the light in the scene have similar colors and they just look so flat so i want to put more dynamics in the scene so i'm going to change i'm going to bring a different light with a, a more contrasting color let's say red so um, i come to create you go to light then you go to directional light in this case why i'm using directional light is because directional light covers a wider range so I, I want this light to um, cover a wider range so I have my directional light already in the scene and this is it here I'm going to activate it and you're going to see how it's going to look now see this is directional light and I chose red color see it just gives it a lot more interesting look these are basically what you should look out for trying to get a very nice cinematic and interesting night scene look realistic night scene look thank you for watching this tutorial